It is a normal busy day in Lagos as the NLC called off the plant industrial action at the early hours of Monday morning. Plus TV Africa's Marichinda was at the NLC building in Lagos where the protest was planned to kick off and our reports. The Nigerian Labour Congress House right here in Tejosho, Lagos, Nigeria. It's Monday, September 28th, the D-Day for the proposed industrial action of the NLC. But true to type, the industrial action in Lagos is being halted. After a closed-door meeting for almost an hour, Labour leaders in Lagos briefed the media on the next course of action. I, the action was suspended uh, last night on the ground that the uh, federal government has also uh, shifted ground. It was a give and take approach where discussion is ongoing on the PMS and uh, the electricity tariff has been suspended. At that time, it became necessary that uh, labor also give room for genuine discussion. While the NLC leadership feels both positive and confident about further deliberations with the federal government, members of the Trade Union Congress in Lagos aren't taking it easy at all. As of last night, we're all here. We have printed all the banners, leaflets, uh, leaflets and uh, even aprons to use this morning. And we were ready to go out. We also announced to all Nigerians to join the labor family, to join the labor movement, so that we can actually push this and let our voices be heard. And particularly, two items we're not happy with, amongst many issues, the electricity tariff and the price of petrol. And now the civil society organizations view the suspension of the strike as a betrayal of trust. There is a congress resolution of both the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress are against regulation. Why should two, three Labour leaders take that decision unilaterally in front of government without any resorts to their members? You couldn't have, in the widest imagination, thought that the proper time to make three increases on VAT from 5 to 7.5, on tariff of electric on electricity, and then on the prices of petroleum products, all happening within the same time when the economy was completely locked down. The planned industrial action may be out of the way today, but for this clothes vendor, along with others like her, it is regretful they had planned to actively participate in the protest had it not been suspended. We won't strike. We won't strike. I'm not happy that the strike didn't hold anymore because everybody was ready. I even left my house this morning to protest against these um, um, expensive things that are going on now in this country. How can they increase fuel after suffering for COVID-19? Nigeria want to welcome us with increasing of the fuel with, uh, and the Nepal tariff. Nigerians are suffering. Nigerians are happy. With the price of fuel now at 161 Naira and Nigeria still the poverty capital of the world, some Lagos residents feel despondent. They say they couldn't be bothered about any industrial action. <laughs> Only last night, the NLC agreed to call off the protest after the federal government agreed to suspend the application of the cost-reflective electricity tariff adjustments in two weeks from now. Mary. Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.